So for our therapy dog program, Rosie, a certified therapy dog, comes to school with me on Wednesdays and students sign up for 10 minute segments of spending time with Rosie. Here in Chesterfield, as a school social worker, there's a lot of students that I have the opportunity to work with. And I was looking for ways to be creative and support students, and this seemed like a really good way. Um, it was a long process, several years in the making, actually, but we're really excited at the progress that we've made and, and the difference that having a dog in school is making in the lives of the student and teachers. And I've even had family members stop by and say how much they like having Rosie here. It feels great. You know, you get to go back to class rejuvenated. You can really focus on your work now that you've had time to take a break. It's been so much fun, and it's a great way to get out of class. It's a great time to talk to Miss Pope, too, because sometimes you're feeling really bad, and you just want to go there for a quick chat. First, I got the dog, because I didn't have a dog, so I got the dog specifically for this. This particular breed of dog came highly recommended. She's a golden doodle, and they have a good temperament for doing this kind of work. So I started there, and then we attended classes. The first level of certification is the Canine Good Citizen, and that's just basic obedience, and that comes through the um, American Kennel Club. And then beyond that, I took further um, classes so that she could become certified as a therapy dog. You know, it does so many amazing things. I hear from kids every day. You know, if she's not here, hey, where's Rosie? When's Rosie coming back? She only comes in on Wednesdays. Um, but students will say things like, wow, I wasn't gonna come to school today and then I remembered it was a Rosie day. Or sometimes maybe they've just had a really difficult test and they're really worried about, you know, their grade in a particular class. And it just is really great for them to just come and just sort of you know, exhale and just sort of relax and just get shored up, ready to go back out. Kids have had things happen in school that have triggered past traumas for them and um, just to come in and talk about it has been really, um, really helpful. That's the feedback that I get from the kids. And it's funny because Rosie seems to always know. <laughs> you know, I did have a teacher come in and, and the teacher ended up starting to talk about something that was rather stressful for her. And the dog just jumped right up and came right over to her. And she's like, now you know what I need. We started a club, a dog therapy club, for students with dogs that are interested in having their dogs become certified as therapy dogs. So we're still navigating some things that we need to do in order to make that training class happen. But in the meantime, we're doing lots of really great um, service projects. We're collecting old towels for the um, the animal shelter, we made no big dog treats for the SPCA, and we read stories to the um, children at Curtis Elementary. I feel really, really good about it. It's been an, an exciting program for us, and I'm looking forward to continuing with it. It's a great idea. I hear a lot of people talk about how stressed they are in school, so I think it would be awesome to have a dog in every school. I absolutely love my job and anything I can do to reach these students. You know, I think that in this day and age, we never really know what's going to make a difference. We have the opportunity to say something that could really enhance somebody's quality of life. And um, I think anything I could do would be worth that. It's really important to me.